So that's a track called No Pretty City from Chris Taplin and the man himself joins me in the studio. Welcome. Thanks very much for having me. Tell us about that song then. You know, I've done a wee bit of exploring in my time and uh, I came across a very, very small place <laughs> that uh, that was, it's actually branded as a city, but wasn't a city. It was uh, in, a, in a wee country I'd visited before. They, they sort of branded it as a lovely, lovely place, but. I went there with high hopes and found it to be quite a rough place. <laughs> so I thought, about, but I embraced it and thought to myself, there's a song in this. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so of all the music genres in the world, what was it that got you into blues then? I got into blues at a very, very young age, very young age. There's always music in my house for a start. That was one of the main things. And um, I actually uh, wanted to watch the, the Lion King, as right. the story goes. And we all have, this is in the days of tapes and yeah. different things like that, no DVDs or anything like that, and it was a tape player. And I put the tape into the machine and uh, somebody had recorded over the Lion King <laughs> with uh, Chuck Berry. Right, yeah. So instead of watching Glued to the Lion King this close from the TV <laughs> uh, for hours, I was glued to Chuck Berry instead and I asked my dad for a guitar the next day and I was four years old so he got me this little thing that was like pressing down on Nails yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for cheap, and uh, just took it from there. So long did it take to learn the guitar then? 
Well, it took a while. It did take a while. I mean, my dad did everything he could for me and other family members, my uncle and stuff like that, they did a lot for me, especially with exploring the different realms of music and different things like that. And, uh, but then eventually I just took it on myself at about 11 or 12 years old and just wanted to, had a hunger to get better and better at it. And it's just never left me. So after Chuck Berry, who did you discover next? Oh, Rory Gallagher. Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was uh, an experience, <laughs> just uh, just to know that he actually came from this island mm -hmm. was yeah. phenomenal to me because I was thinking to myself then, well, if he can do this, then surely I can do it too, yeah. you know, and I think he did that for a lot of musicians from this country, you know, he gave them a hope that yeah. we can all do it, yeah. you know. Rory did, and the great Gary Moore did Gary as well. Moore as yeah. well, yeah, the same thing, you know, Gary... St. Lizzie, yeah, <laughs> you exactly. know, I mean, touring the world, doing the thing, and where's he from? He's from here. So you've got your own band I together at the minute as well. How yep. did you get that together? Um, well, I moved away a while ago, and I just wanted to sort of go around and do a bit of exploring for a while, so I did that. And when I came back here, I had a serious head on me. I wanted to come back and get some stuff done. And I just, it took me half a second to run back into my old friends again and say to them let's get something done and that's where it came from and obviously you know a lot of my friends are all into the blues as well so it wasn't that hard to stumble by one of them <laughs> and there is a great blues scene here in belfast and so many great players isn't there it's fantastic i mean it's it just it actually keeps getting larger and more exciting and more people are into it and i'm meeting more people and i mean like obviously we have so many of the great players here, you know, you're, you'll always catch Rob McCulloch on a Thursday night and religiously will not miss that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's like being in the classroom for me, yeah. that one. And just all the blues gigs that are going on. Oh, then, and then, you know, obviously you've got the Reverend Duck. He's another great one. And, you know, the best thing too is seeing so many young people coming in and playing the blues, you yeah. know. And I thought for a long, long time that maybe I was the only one my age or maybe I was sort of on my own mm -hmm. with this music, you know, and it was so refreshing to actually come across people who share the same passion for it as I do. So, yeah, I mean, there are lots of young people who are just discovering the blues now. So say if somebody out there wanted to do what you're doing, but is still at a very young age, what kind of advice would you pass on to them? Listen is the big thing, you know, and listen to the masters, listen to listen to Muddy Waters mm -hmm. and listen to these guys who had nothing else apart from this music, you know, even as far back as, you know, way before Muddy Waters, you're into Robert Johnson, yeah, you know, yeah. that far back, listen to everything. Because what they don't know is maybe that the bands that they, they actually listen to, you know, your Led Zeppelins of the world, you know, they started off listening to Muddy Waters yeah. or Robert Johnson. Even the, the Rolling Stones yeah. too, you know, mm -hmm. they, they, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards actually met on a train and they talked to each other because Mick was holding a Muddy Waters LP. Wow, and of course their early stuff was very blues. Oh yeah, all of it. it was, yeah. And they were actually, the, they were the, they were one of the first guys, they were the first to bring Powell and Wolf over to England. They put them on a TV show over there. They didn't tell anybody though. <laughs> 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 they just said, we have a friend coming over. <laughs> So Chris, you've got uh, the EP coming out soon as well, haven't you? We do indeed. Uh, it's a four-track EP and is our debut release. So, uh, of course, that's always going to be exciting and nervy at yeah. the same time. We're just really looking forward to seeing what people think of it. And also, in my eyes, I think any more blues music that's released out there into the world is a good thing. Of course. Okay, Chris, before you go, will you do one more song for us? Surely, yes. What are you going to do this time? I'm going to do a take on an old blues instrumental. Okay, Chris, well, thank you for joining us on the show today. Well, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Chris Taplin. Mm -hmm. 